About 300 miles off the northeast coast of Brazil lies an archipelago that to many coming to the New World was the very first land visible. The Fernando de Noronha Archipelago is one of the most unique places in the Atlantic. It is rich with history and has gained a reputation for having some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Fernando de Noronha and its rugged coast formed by the volcanic peaks of a submerged mountain chain, consists of a 21-island archipelago. Its rich waters are vital for the breeding and feeding of tuna, shark, turtles, and marine mammals. Because of this, the islands became listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2002. It can be described as a paradise. Of the 21 islands, only the main island is inhabited but it wasn't always inhabited peacefully. Between the 18th and 20th centuries, the main island and its jagged cliffs was used as a prison for some of Brazil's most dangerous criminals. Despite that, Charles Darwin even visited and wrote about the island. Tales of abundant fauna, flora, and beauty are what brought Darwin here. It's the same tale that continues today. The island has an incredibly high concentration of spinner dolphins. But it's the sharks that brought me here, and there are plenty of them. Fernando de Naronha is home to a variety of sharks. It's the lemon sharks that are most visible, typically just beyond the waves of this tropical paradise. Because they feed very close to the breaking waves, they are likely to be the ones most often encountered by humans. There is currently research on the movement patterns of this species on the island, especially in response to the incidents that occur every year resulting from people in lemon shark feeding areas. It is believed that the lemon shark as well as the nurse and Caribbean reef sharks found here are residents and complete their entire life cycle in the archipelago. Lemon sharks demonstrate a slower lifestyle compared to other species capable of long migrations. They are less mobile sharks with high spatial fidelity. In fact, current data suggests that they remain for long periods of time, sometimes on the same beach. Adult lemon sharks, like those seen here, approach the shore to feed. Their interactions are nothing short of remarkable. The ease at which these sharks knife through waves is as beautiful as the island itself. Current data collected by local scientists suggests that their diet is based mainly on sardines and other fatty fish. When viewed from above, even from the clifftops, you see this dynamic take place. Perhaps there's no other view that can truly demonstrate the beauty of this place than observing the nature of Fernando de Naronha from above. Every day on Fernando de Naronha is a real-life demonstration of the importance of a balanced ecosystem. For this reason, the island plays an important role in the research and study of how ecosystems function. Sharks are considered a keystone species, not just here, but worldwide. They have such an impact on their habitat that without them, the entire ecosystem in which they live would be dramatically different. Their presence has an immediate impact on the ecosystem. Look no further than the following clips as an example. Lemon sharks at the island are well known for their foraging on sardines along the coastline. During the day, they essentially push the sardines into large aggregations close to the shallow waters. What may seem as a purpose of only serving the lemon shark's dietary needs 
has a cascading effect on the ecosystem, one that goes beyond the sharks, and one that is a great example of how their presence resonates. The ray here benefits from the lemon shark's foraging techniques. Other species of sharks, like these nurse sharks, benefit as well. With so many sardines having been pushed close to the shore, there is a feast to be had by all. But it's the birds that most enthusiastically demonstrate the benefit of the lemon shark's presence. By foraging on the sardines, the sharks facilitate the feeding of seabirds. This is why birds are nearly always in the presence of foraging lemon sharks. Sometimes diving within feet of a lemon shark, they seize the opportunity in incredible fashion. Historically speaking, the foraging ecology and predatory behavior of sharks has been poorly understood. Before the advent of drones, the cliffs of Fernando de Naronia have provided scientists the ability to view lemon shark hunting tactics from above. In my time there, however, I quickly learned that viewing shark behavior from above at this island is perhaps the most effective means of unmasking the mysteries of the various shark species here. Needless to say, it's also the most mesmerizing view of these incredible sharks. Fernando de Naroni Archipelago is an important shark nursery. Lemon, nurse, Caribbean reef sharks are plentiful along this coast, but it is the tiger shark that is perhaps the most elusive. It's also the species I've never filmed from my drone. But it is here that I finally found one. Finding a tiger shark cruising along the reef and briefly observing its behavior demonstrated, at least to me, that tiger sharks are extraordinarily unique sharks. Not only are they visibly different, but even with their movements, they appear to be completely different in the way they approach their prey. However, it was their interactions with turtles that was most intriguing. The secluded bays of the island are home to countless sea turtles, and in that home, it provided me with perhaps the most interesting footage I have ever captured, regardless of shark species. Filming tiger sharks attempting to capture sea turtles was not something I was expecting to observe. It is footage I will share in part two of this series. In my short time observing the tiger sharks here, I was able to conclude that they are very active species in these waters. And it affirmed a major point. There is much left to observe at Fernando de Naronia, and even more to learn. Please visit the links to the scientists and the organizations that made this footage possible. I highly recommend visiting the links of the scientific studies and the scientists that are currently working at Fernando de Noronha.